County Government of Nyeri, under the leadership of His Excellency Governor Mutahi Kahiga, has embarked on a mission of serving the great people of Nyeri County by progressively empowering them through sustainable development. This government's values are strongly anchored on three major tenets, which include development, accountability, and transparency. To enable development to be sustainable, the county government of Nyeri has revamped all sectors from infrastructure, agriculture, trade, tourism, culture and cooperative development, health services, water environment and natural resources, to education, sports, science and technology, gender, youth and social services and lands, physical planning, housing and urban development. Government is all about its people and it's for this reason that it is committed to uplifting the welfare of the people of Nyeri County. And what have the 10 departments done so far? On transport infrastructure and energy, It is important to note that good infrastructure is key to having sustainable development in Nyeri County. Accessible infrastructure makes it easy for the common Wananchi to access essential services such as hospitals, enables farmers get their farm produce to the market on time and allows smooth interconnectivity to other counties. The county government is committed to ensuring that all wards have maram roads with an aim of opening up the rural areas by enhancing road networking and interconnectivity. To help this dream come true, His Excellency Governor Mutahi Kahiga recently flagged off five trucks to aid in the repair and opening up of road networks. <laughs> Today we are flagging off these vehicles, five of them are lorries that will go towards the road making and road repairing and then we have the sixth one which is uh, the cherry picker which will be put to use uh, to repair and help ease uh, the issue of uh, street lighting uh, repair. And we have spent close to around 55 million for these vehicles. And I really appreciate that uh, the process uh, of procurement has finally been done very fast and we have the lorries here. In this regard, the county has marammed 320 kilometers of road in all wards to ease transport within the county. The county government has been recapitating roads in major towns of Nyeri and Karatina and also maintaining gravel roads and upgrading of earth roads to gravel status. <laughs> Just to review this ongoing project, which is uh, one among the very many projects that we have undertaken as a way of reviving and making Nyeri great again. Today, we just came to launch the decapiting of uh, Kukulin or this lane and really the entire Nyeri town, which has a is a pro program that we have, been, we have undertaken over the last two weeks and looking back I'm really uh, excited to see that this place was actually as, was full of sufuria holes, not even potholes. And today it's really well done 
I appreciate the work that has been done. And this is just one among the very many uh, undertakings that we have, we have uh, uh, taken over so that we can give Nyeri a facelift. We unfortunately inherited a dilapidated town in terms of infrastructure. And moving forward, we'll soon be discussing with the owners of these buildings on how we can repaint the buildings. We will sit and agree through public participation and uh, private-public partnership on how we can make the towns better. Nyeri County's aim of being a 24-hour economy can only be realized if all the towns are street lighting. The county government of Nyeri's lighting program has increased street lighting initiative each and every day. This has aided in the realization of this dream. Since the lighting of these towns, many people, mostly in the major towns such as Karatina and Nyeri, have robust businesses being done even in the late hours of the night. To support this initiative, the county government has purchased a cherry picker which will be used for installing and repairing the streetlights. To mention but a few trading centers that have benefited from this program, they include Ruge in Mukurwene, Idengore in Rurengo, and Mumbine in Chingawadudaya, amongst other areas of Nyeri County. On agriculture, agriculture is the bedrock of our economy as a country and also as a county. The county government of Nyeri aims at changing the county to be self-sufficient and ensuring food security for all its residents. To realize this, it has embarked on programs such as dairy value addition in the dairy farming sector. The county government has delivered milk coolers worth 15 million in some cooperative societies across the county. These coolers are helping farmers reduce wastage of milk and ensure that the milk is bought at a productive price. This in turn is helping the county increase its productivity by 50%. To increase production and productivity and ensure the county is food secure, the county has procured over 100,000 bags of agricultural lime for soil fertility amendment program worth 5 million shillings. Through the Greening Initiative program, the county aims at ensuring that besides increasing the forest cover which helps reduce soil erosion, the farmers have diversified their agricultural practices and boosted income through the supply of fruits such as avocado and macadamia seedlings. Provision of early maturing clean bean seeds and seed potato multiplication programs to the ASL areas in Kenisab counties have also been initiated. The county has invested 30 million shillings in the procurement of over 130,000 seedlings of harsh avocados, 31,000 grafted macadamia and 6,000 mangoes of apple variety. Over 58,000 farmers have benefited from this initiative in all the eight sub-counties. The county government has also provided 18 tons of potato seeds to 40 groups in both Kenny East and West for seed multiplication or demonstration. <laughs> Two thousand one day old chicks were provided to eight groups, one in each sub county. A hundred beekeeping starter kits were provided to five groups, each in Madera East, Teto and Madera West. Fish has numerous health benefits and Nyeri County has invested in the fish cage culture technology. This technology consumes less space since many cages can be installed in one dam. To support this initiative, the county has started a pilot program in Chingadam in Odaya with 10 cages, with each holding up to 1,000 tilapia fingerlings. This aims at ensuring that once the Omagana fish processing plant is revitalized and operations are underway, there will be enough supply. On coffee, Nyeri County is one of the 31 counties selected as a pilot county for coffee reforms program. One billion shillings have been set aside for this sector and the funds will be used to support farmers in terms of inputs, expertise and upgrading coffee facilities. The county, in a bid to increase coffee prices, has encouraged the farmers to embrace coffee value addition and brand the products as those belonging to Nyeri County. Health Services Nyeri is one of the four counties that were selected to pilot the Universal Health Coverage UHC program which is one of President Uhuru Kenyatta's big four agenda. 
UHC's implementation started immediately after the presidential launch where UHC Health Benefits Package was rolled out in all public county health facilities to the UHC registered members. <laughs> The county aspires to progressively shift its main focus from ill health and hospitals to primary health care, communities and empowering families to take charge of their own health. Our CS, you're very welcome. CS Sicily, great lady. We are honored, privileged and humbled that you could come and join us today as we launch UHC and as we begin to unpack what UHC is about. So thank you for finding time. The county has 2,510 community health volunteers who are also known as CHVs who are deployed at villages to create health awareness and screen diabetes and hypertension at households level. This program's aim is to ensure that people who have been registered get free medical services in all the public health facilities. UHC will ensure that all Nyeri residents have access to medical services without incurring any out-of-pocket expenditure for their medical expenses. In order to improve delivery of services and working environment, the county government of Nyeri has employed a total of 137 healthcare workers. And these are five medical officers, 46 clinical officers, 46 nurses, 12 laboratory technologists and 28 other health cadres who have been deployed in different health facilities. This has rapidly reduced the long queues that were being experienced earlier in many health facilities. The county is also in the process of recruiting additional 91 health care workers under the UHC program. To further improve the working conditions of the county referral hospital, the county government of Nyeri has successfully renovated the outpatient department by tiling, replacing asbestos roof and repainting. Also, the renovation of the mortuary has been done awaiting the delivery of more refrigerated cabinets. Under UHC, the county government of Nyeri has received drugs worth 69 million shillings, and this includes cancer drugs worth 5 million shillings and renal commodities worth 2.7 million shillings, which will benefit approximately over 830,296 residents in the county. The drugs supplied by the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA, will relieve the residents from spending out of pocket to buy drugs while receiving treatment from the hospitals. These drugs have been distributed to all health facilities. Development projects have been implemented in other hospitals, such as Karatina Sub County Hospital, where a newborn unit and a drug store were constructed. In Mount Kenya Hospital, a new outpatient block has been constructed to completion. At Mokoroine Sub-County Hospital's outpatient departments have been successfully renovated and maternity child health block constructed. To increase access to health services in the rural areas, the county government has embarked on construction and operationalization of dispensaries which include Zaina, Karigoine and Gedakwa dispensaries in Tetu constituency and Modangira dispensary in Kenny West. Plans are underway to upgrade Narumoru Health Center to a level 4 hospital. Education, Sports, Science and Technology Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Children are our future and we must prepare their future now so that they can conquer tomorrow. In this regard, the county government of Nyeri has recruited over 700 caregivers for its ECDE centers. The ECD learning institutions are under the county government and it's ensuring that all children have access to education at no cost. The county government of Nyeri supports 426 public ECDE centers, has ongoing projects of putting up 16 new ECDE classrooms. pit latrines and renovating the dilapidated classrooms. To ensure smooth operations in the centers, the county government provides teaching and learning materials for the children. Through the 
introduction of a LIMU fund program for needy bright students, thousands of Nyeri students have benefited from the program. The county government of Nyeri has since increased the kitty from 60 million shillings to 100 million shillings to ensure more students benefit. To beat the monster of unemployment among the youth, they must acquire the desirable technical skills to enable their assimilation into the job market. To facilitate this great agenda, the county government has reopened the polytechnics that had been closed. Department of Finance and Economic Planning Nyeri Governor His Excellency Mutahi Kahiga launched Nyeri Pay Program, a digital payment platform meant to automate revenue collection. Officially, Nyeri the cashless system enhances accountability in revenue collection and minimizes cases of corruption by sealing revenue leakages that cost the county millions of shillings every year. The e-payment system is accessible online through the point of sale, terminal devices and physical agents. The county government of Nyeri increased its revenue collection by 20% in the first half of the 2018-2019 financial year. The county through the Nyeri Pay platform collected 331 million shillings in the first half of the 2018-2019 financial year compared to 274 million shillings it collected in the first half of the 2017-2018 financial year. The mobile-based application shows how each revenue collection point is performing at any given time. The system has sealed loopholes through which revenue was lost. It has also helped deal with delays in showing how each revenue stream was performing. Nyeri Pay allows close monitoring and efficient reporting, unlike before when the revenue department had to manually monitor each sub-county or revenue stream. The county is popularizing the mobile payment option through the M-Pesa pay bill number 1919 The governor also inaugurated the first ever Nyeri County Audit Committee. The committee led by Chairperson Sophie Moturi will audit all financial operations in the county since the last financial year. Department of Water, Natural Environment and Sanitation A good society takes good care of the environment and its natural resources for the well-being of its population. The county government through His Excellency Governor Mutahi Kahiga has been committed to supporting all water service providers which include Nyawasko, Mawasko, Narawasko, Omwasko and Dewasko to sustain this excellent performance. Already, the county government is supporting several community water projects for the entire county. To enhance food security, His Excellency Governor Mutahi Kahiga has launched and commissioned several irrigation projects. The county government of Nyeri, through its Nyeri Water and Sewerage Company, Nyawasko, has continued to provide the best water services to its people. Nyawasko was named the best water service provider in the whole country. According to the Kenya Water Services Sector reports for 2015-2016 and 2016-2017, Nyawasko outperformed all its peers in the entire country for the last 10 years and remained the best performing water company. The county government also launched a cleanup exercise in 2018 dubbed Tungari Shanyeri, a program in partnership with the private sector and the community that has been held every third Saturday of every month to assist in keeping Nyeri's towns clean and as well as sensitize the public on better waste disposal methods. The county government is focused to act on climate change by increasing tree cover percentage in the county. Through its greening program, 2,361 fruit trees were distributed in 80 schools around the county. 17,257 indigenous trees and bamboo trees were planted along riparian land while farmers were assisted with 3,068 trees. A partnership with other stakeholders has allowed for more tree planting in a bid to conserve and protect our rivers. The county government of Nyeri, led by the governor, has drilled 15 solar-powered boreholes in Mathira and Kenya constituencies. Seven more boreholes have been rehabilitated and reinstalled with solar power. Lands, physical planning, housing and urban development. The county government of Nyeri, in collaboration with the Ministry of Lands and National Lands Commission, NLC Nyeri, has been working tirelessly to ensure that all schools and colonial village settlers are issued with land ownership documents. This will ensure that they are able to make long-term investments to sustain a living. 
So far, 86 schools in Nyeri County have been issued with title deeds, while another 150 are in the process of getting them. The Lands team is also reviewing keenly the ones with disputes with a bid to get in a quick resolution and having their titles or releases processed. The county government, through the program of planning and surveying of colonial villages, is working towards ensuring that all the villages will soon have their title deeds issued. Public Service Administration Internship In the spirit of empowering the youth, the county government of Nyeri rolled out a unique program of enrolling 200 interns in an internship program. This program's aim is to accord graduates an opportunity to gain workplace experience, therefore improving their prospects of securing a job. Launch of Code of Conduct and Ethics the Code of Conduct and Ethics contains general rules of conduct and ethics to be observed by officers serving in the county public service so as to maintain the integrity, nobility, and dignity of the county government of Nyeri. All county employees are expected to sign the Code of Conduct. The staff identity card is unique in that it is tamper-proof and has a barcode. The staff identification exercise will help identify the genuine staff and weed out ghost workers so as to avoid the risk of carrying dead weight on our payroll at the expense of hardworking and overstretched staff. Department of Gender, Youth and Social Services The Department of Gender, Youth and Social Services is one of the core departments for the county government of Nyeri. Its mandate is social protection, empowerment and harnessing the potential of the vulnerable and marginalized groups. Towards the achievements of its objectives, the department spearheaded a collaboration between the county government of Nyeri and NHRF for the provision of a medical insurance cover, Bima Afia, to the severely poor and vulnerable members of the society, including orphans, people with disabilities, widows and widowers, extremely poor and elderly persons above 70 years. To date, over 6,000 beneficiaries and their families have benefited from the program. Over 30,000 standard eight girls in public primary schools have benefited with sanitary towels through an initiative of the county government of Nyeri to alleviate psychological torture of girls from poor backgrounds. To intervene in the lives of the vulnerable, the county government through the department runs the Karatina Children's Home which houses over 90 children who are orphaned by natural and HIV AIDS related deaths. Those from mentally and physically challenged parents, defilement and abandonment in the streets or street families. The county government of Nyeri is also running Career Health and Rehabilitation Center, the only county-run rehabilitation center where many alcohol victims have benefited from. Department of Trade, Tourism, Culture and Cooperative Development. The county government of Nyeri has continued to facilitate trade and investment by championing and enabling environment for domestic businesses to thrive through infrastructural development and some of the major flagship projects are in the markets. The county government through this department has also undertaken seven major market improvement projects that range from putting up toilet blocks, maramin, establishing gates and water tanks, and this has also been undertaken in other markets across the county. Ihororo, Nyeri Open Air and Mudavadi markets are among the markets that are fully operational. A conducive business environment is important for the county government to attract new investors. In the recent past, the county has attracted new businesses including branch offices for financial institutions and distribution offices for manufacturing. In addition, potential investors have expressed interest in setting up a manufacturing plant for electricity pools and a hospital, amongst others, in a concerted effort to create a better investment climate in Nyeri. The Chaka Market Hub has been constructed in partnership with the national government. This market hub will be the biggest in East and Central Africa. This project is currently ongoing. It is expected to house various types of businesses, for example, banking halls, gymnasiums, hotels and amenities like cold rooms, administration block, a police station, among others. It has a capacity of 5,000 traders. Karatina Market, done with a partnership with the national government, has a capacity of 3,000 traders. A Nyeri Open Air Market, a fresh produce market with a capacity of 500 traders, was completed by this county government which has facilitated a friendly environment to do business. County Government of Nyeri, under the leadership of the Governor, His Excellency Mutahi Kahiga, and Deputy Governor Dr. Caroline Karogo, is committed to ensuring that the lives of the people of Nyeri County are improved considerably 
and that there is quality of life for each and every resident of Newey County.